In this video, we're going to take a look at a multiplication shortcut called a perfect square. The perfect square shortcut takes a bit of practice to get used to. However, once we get very familiar with it, we will find many uses for it as we continue studying algebra. So let's take a look at what it means to square something. First, I want to note what we are not allowed to do is just square both a and b. That does not work. We can only put the 2 through, the exponent through, if a and b are multiplied together. Here they are added. Let's look at what squared means. Squared means we have a plus b multiplied together twice. If we were to multiply this out using FOIL, we would have a times a, or a squared, plus a b, plus a b, plus b squared. You'll notice, when we do this, we get identical like terms in the middle. We get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We do see the two terms you would expect to see, a squared and b squared, in this problem. The only difference, though, that gets left out is there's this 2ab in the middle. That 2ab comes from multiplying the outside and inside together, which is completely identical, a times b and b times a. We have that ab there twice. We'll use this as a shortcut to help us multiply perfect squares together. Rather than going through all the steps of FOIL, we'll square the first term, count the product twice, and square the last term. For example, if we have x minus 5 squared, rather than going through the work of squaring it, we'll square the first term, x squared, and then we will look at the product x times negative 5 is negative 5x, and another negative 5x gives us negative 10x. We count that product twice. And then finally, we can square the last term. 5 squared is 25, and we have our solution. Let's take a look at a few more examples where we use the squaring shortcut. Here, we have 2x plus 5 squared. To square a binomial, we'll square the first term. 2 squared is 4x squared. Then we have the product twice. 2x times 5 is 10x, and another 10x is positive 20x, because we have to count the product twice. Finally, we square the last term, and 5 squared is 25. Let's look at an example with two variables. 3x minus 7y squared. Same pattern. We'll square the first term. 3x squared is 9x squared. And then we'll look at the product twice. 3x times negative 7y is negative 21xy. Another negative 21 makes it negative 42xy. Finally, we square the last term. 7y squared is a positive 49y squared. Let's do one last example. 5a plus 9b squared. We square the first term, 5a squared becomes 25a squared, and then we have the product twice. 5a times 9b is 45ab, and another 45ab gives us 90abs, and finally, we square the last term. Squaring 9b gives us 81 running out of space. 81 b squared, and that's our final solution. Square the first, twice the product, square the last for perfect squares.